So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for episode 2 of Fallout. I adored episode 1. Uh, the more extended version of these reactions, I can't even talk. It's still so early in the morning. The more extended version of these reactions go up over on Patreon, along with a whole bunch of other Patreon exclusive content. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you can find me is linked in the description below. That might be the fastest I've ever done an intro, and that rhymed. <laughs> Let's go. Violence, smoking and bad language sounds like a recipe for a great show. Motherfucker from Lost! Oh, he's saving the little guys. I can already hear the people yelling at me in the comments. Because, like, I know nothing that's going on. I'm just having fun. I think this has, like, quite a deep fandom that are probably going to be fact checking me on everything I say, which is why I'm just saying I know nothing, okay? And I'm happy. Oh, so he kept this one? He's so typecast, I feel bad for him. He plays a crazy scientist in like everything he's in. Ben! That was his name in Lost. Even the dog is like, hey, Dad, what the fuck? Oh, her name is 404. Like page 404, not found. Because he robbed her. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's gonna attack. They're not gonna kill the dog, are they? Put the dog back in the wall! I would take responsibility for this murder. I'd be like, I did it. Yeah. Ah, I forgot about her. She's still making her way down to the beach. She's leaving a very crisp set of footprints behind her that anybody could track her with. She should do that fucking sand walk from Dune. Start dragging your legs all around the place and like, cover your tracks as you go, you know? Oh. I don't know that I'd be lighting a fire out here. She's far too trusting of her surroundings. Before the war, people joked about cockroaches surviving a nuclear blast. Is that what that was? But they didn't really survive. You should know better than to light a fire after dark. Hey, that's what I fucking said. This is her first time on the surface, though. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. Not yet, but through character development and plot again. progression, she will. Will you still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether? I wouldn't turn back either. I'd still try to find my dad. Hazardous waste. Um, he's not be letting my dog fuck off and investigate something like that, do you know? That's nice, baby. We can have a bit of hand for dinner. They've been sent to look at look for him and the dog. Why? Because he Lord. escaped with the dog? Big fuck. Hazardous waste level fuck. We're not gonna be able to sneak up on anybody with Mr. Fucking Loud Squeaky Kneecaps here. Okay, but if I go in there, and if I get my armor, do I get a cool fucking Darth Vader voice changer too? Oh. Is that... It looks like a werewolf and a bear had a baby. Attack! Dude, shoot us! He's never gonna live this down. He ran away from the bear. He reminds me of Cliff from Doom Patrol. Fuck! Where were you? Huh? Fucking please! Is that Micah Rappaport? something. I'm asking you for a step back and you're looking at me. You're looking at me like you don't know what the fuck to do. You stupid motherfucker, you know this is all your fault. You sent him into the fucking cave you know they do with no armor. Swords. They don't do their fucking job. They string you up. Maximus by your uh, lungs in a uh, by your lungs to blood eagle you. It is a knight's duty <coughs> to better this fallen world. You don't deserve that armor. Uh, you think you do? I never said that. I think I do. I said I think you don't. <coughs> Hello, excuse me. 
That is a look. Is he wearing cowboy boots and no pants? May I approach? You head to Philly. What's Philly? People get killed in Philly all the time. I know this guy's voice. Daddy got killed anyway. It's dangerous. Stop zooming in on this man's butt cheeks. Live with me. Use the family and help with all the work. No, I'm all right, thanks. I'm good. I could never be with someone that doesn't wear pants. (laughs) Make him dying. Bomber. Bye. Wow. All right, so that guy is dead and it's time to rob his suit. Like, what's the point of this suit? How strong? Never mind. Why were they fighting? I've been persecuted for my scientific curiosity. I was fucking my chickens. He was what? I think we arrested the wrong person. Go get that chicken fucker. Can we fly? Can we put them down on the floor and fly? Put point your hands to the floor. I'd be a disaster in a suit like that. I know I would. Flying myself sideways into walls and hopping off the floor. He reminds me of that. Ah, oh, that fucking guy from Westworld. Oh, what's his name? I, if you've seen Westworld, you know exactly who I'm on about. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. And I'm in a bad I mood am. because I've had a long <laughs> day, a marriage proposal from a man with I'm no pants. Goes by the name of Moldaver. Oh! Fucking room, bar. Nice teeth. No, ten fingers. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. We're going to save America. <laughs> it has been two hundred years. More than a hole in the ground for rich folks to hide in. Yeah. And you know what, folks up here say about the vaults? Fuck the vaults. You've got all ten fingers too. What are you making fun of her full set of fingers for? Thank you for your help, ma'am. She's so, like, preppy and, like, positive. If that was me, she was like, fuck you and fuck the vaults. I'd be like, do you know what? Fair enough. Tell me where I can find this bitch or I'm going to fucking burn your shop to the ground because I have to find my dad. How about it? You come from Vault 33. Your primary crop is corn. You have a telesonic projector in your farm. Had lives images of the Nebraskan country. Got burnt down on my wedding. And how do you know so much? Hey. I told you to get the fuck out of here. And I didn't hey. fucking listen. You know your kind ain't welcome here. Well, I'm, just, I'm starting to feel like no one's welcome here in this town. I, myself well. now, I may not know much, but I do know a bit more when I see one. But I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Ferris. <laughs> Okay, so Deadpool over here is unkillable for now. <laughs> Completely unfazed. My man took two bullets and is just like, hey, how's it going? Don't, it, don't kill the dog. Don't kill the dog. If you kill the dog, I swear to God, don't you. I'd kill him. I would beat him to death with my foot that was shot off. I would... I'd rip his skin from the bone with my fingers. You did that to my dog, you're dead. You are not walking out. You're double dead, corpse boy. He raised that dog from a puppy. But at first glance, your treatment of this man appears unfair. Really? What was it that appears unfair to you? Was it the blowing off of the foot or the killing of the dog? Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. The discount Iron Man has decided to make himself known. Nine Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. Cut him down. Cut him the fuck down. He just killed a dog. Hi. I've been sent here to find him. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with the ghoul. Okay. Uh, 
can still make this trip. Your leg meat is hanging out all over the table, buddy. I don't think you're making nothing right now. I'm sorry for yelling. Been shot in the leg. And you yell at me the way. Think and all your limpid ass across the wasteland, you may not be as smart as people say you are. Do you have anyone else you can trust in this town? I need you to take this man here to my client. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to be holding him uh, for the night out there. I'm really only here to find my dad. My client goes by the name of Lee Moldaver. All of a sudden, yes, I'm interested. I will bring him. Tell me the when and where. You're gonna find Moldaver. She and her kind hold up across the shithole. So he just got a new it's foot. A That's why you always gotta take some time to figure out your controls before you start on a mission. Oh my god, it's the chicken fucker! This will have to do. Um. Holy moly. Is it supposed to be bleeding that much? I thought the whole point of putting that on is that you don't bleed. If I knock one more thing today, I'm gonna fucking scream myself into oblivion. Anyway. I'm not going to make it. Just taking a cyanide pill. People are going to come after you. You need to move quickly. We are blasting through characters this you episode. Can change the future. And how am I gonna bring you if you're you know, not not my whole body, just my head. What? Well, that's a that's a neat I gadget. Do, so that it would be less taxing for you to go through with it. It'll be easier if you carry my head. Way to get Have you ever not wanted to take part in a quest so bad that you're like, I took a sign on pill. Just take my head. I'm checking the fuck out right now, so just take my head. Sir. Well, it's decapitation time. See, I think that's the problem she's making. She's taking the time to, like, digest things as they're happening. You have to compartmentalize. You have to fucking gaslight yourself. And just keep moving. I got this. This is fine. This is okay. You know, and that head's going in the bag. Just don't think about it too much. Think of it as like a cool lightsaber. And ooh, you're, you're acting out a scene. <laughs> I think that was even better than the first episode. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to be continuing on with this. I am really loving this. Uh, like I said at the beginning, you guys, the link to my Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon is in the description down below. So if you want to come over elsewhere to other social uh, platforms then click the links and come on over and see what's happening thank you so much for watching I'm trying so hard not to go out and fight the construction men on my street right now I shall instead pretend that they have to behead a man for their quest and it's just something they gotta do thank you for watching and I will talk to you all soon